Training for the Olympics is a full-time job. It's not just about the time that is spent in the gym, it's about the time that is spent towards the goal. So every single decision that I make, whether it's what am I going to have for breakfast, how much am I going to sleep tonight, am I going to go and meet a friend, it's all geared towards whether or not it is going to be serving my goal of making it to the Olympics. My training at the moment looks like five days a week and two of those days are double session days and that's just the time that I spend in the gym. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of hard work. I spend a lot of my time sore and tired and struggling to do everything that I need to do and make the decisions that I need to make and knowing how much it affects other people in my life. And at the same time, it feels really easy because it feels like exactly what I am supposed to be doing. It feels empowering to be living what feels like my true purpose at this time in life. And it feels awesome when I have other people walking alongside me as I'm going on this journey. Every small day-to-day -day decision goes towards following my dream and at the same time all of the larger decisions in my life have gone that way as well. And it's not always easy to do that either. Going part-time at work wasn't an easy decision, it wasn't an easy transition and it required a lot of commitment and belief in myself but it means that I have the time to be able to follow the dream 100%. The other thing that has been a huge decision that I have had to make was prior to going for the Olympics, I had wanted to start trying to have a family and I've decided to put that off to pursue this dream, which means that when I start trying, I'm going to be about three or four years older than I originally intended and it may end up not being a possibility but I decided that I had to do this, that it wasn't a negotiable, and that I would regret not trying if I had kids instead to start off with. Two major qualifying competitions next year will be the Continental Championships and the World Championships, which is being held in Tokyo at the venues that are going to be used for the 2020 Olympics. So it's very exciting. <laughs> I have been to the Oceania Championships before. At the last event that I went to, uh, I won the bouldering championships, the, the bouldering discipline. I came second in the speed and I came third in the lead. If that had been a qualifying event, I would have been placed in first. So my goal is to be the one woman who is representing Oceania continent at the 2020 Olympics. I hope that by sharing my story people will be hopefully inspired to help support me and uh, also that I can share my journey and maybe help ignite the dreams of some other people whether they're climbers or whether they're just people who want to do something that's outside of their normal lives. <laughs>